Welcome to the absolutely improvised monologue. You know, prop is down there. Feel free to send prompts, by the way. One word prompts. You can send them here. You can find me on Facebook and drop them in. Whatever's good. Uh, I am on Facebook 50 minutes a day maximum. But I'll, if you send them, I'll find them. Anyway. <coughs> so the other day, I'm at work. And Flacco calls me to the office. He says, Porky, I got to talk to you. I said, go ahead and talk. Wait, what's up? He says, I need you to do a speech. I said, okay. He said, the Brotherhood's getting together, and I need you to do a speech. I said, fine. Well, what are we going to talk about? So we're going to talk about unfair labor practices and a better vending machine. He said, the unfair labor practices are tied into the better vending machine. And nobody, Porky, nobody knows the vending machine better than you. I said, I'm just a working stiff. I don't want to. I don't want to start a, 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 a riot or a, 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 a strike. He said, "No, no, no, Porky, don't don't start a strike." And, and I mean, if it happens, it happens. But don't don't start one. I said, "Okay, I'll, I'll talk Friday to the guys." Perfect. Okay. So I go home and I start scratching things on a piece of paper. My fellow Americans. No. Nope. Porky says, "Hey, Dad, try this, friends." Romans, forklift drivers. Now the kid's good, but that ain't quite it. So then, Gail comes in the room. She says, honey, you need to extemporize. And I said, but I don't have any hair on my back. She said, no, extemporize. That means make it up as you go along. Now, who the hell would do that? What kind of knucklehead would just start talking without a plan, without something written down? She said, it's called improv. You'd be surprised. I said, I, I am surprised. Who would do that? Anyway, so the day comes, the Friday comes, a bunch of the guys there, I get up on the stage, and I said, gentlemen, here's the deal. We need a better vending machine. We need fresher candy bars. We need crunchier Cheetos. We need to not go on break if there's a growling in our belly. We need to let management know that if we don't get a better vending machine, we're going to have to take longer breaks because we're going to have to bring our own snacks, walk all the way back to our locker and get them. Think about the amount of time. Right then, Flacco interrupted me. He said, you're a genius. You're brilliant. I said, I don't really agree, but okay. He said, management looked out the window and they saw you. Your words touched them. Your words got to them. And we are getting a new vending machine on Monday. Wow. I hardly said anything. But the power of extemporizing... It's truly baffling. So I'm going back to my locker, and uh, I overhear two of the bosses talk. Uh, and one of the bosses at their boss, he goes, I had no idea they could. They were smart enough to organize. If they can organize, they can have a new snack machine. And their boss says, as long as they get that fat guy off the stage. I was done with him by the second sentence. And I looked, and they looked, and they realized it was me. I said, that's all right. You didn't make me fat but a new vending machine is going to keep me fat.